Good morning. It's, yeah, it is still the morning. Um, I guess this is the vlog where I actually talk about where I'm going and what I'm doing because I move in like two days. If you're new here, I'm Anna Mae and I am moving to New York <laughs> again. <laughs> um, this time for six months again. Uh, the last time there's other videos on my channel uh, was intentionally like for a year, but it ended up being six months. I had visa issues and then I decided to come back and do my master's, which I'm done now. And so I've been kind of not sharing on Instagram, um, even though I've been posting plenty on Instagram, but the reality is this has all happened so quickly. Um, I mean, it's still the month of October. This all happened uh, probably in two weeks. So that's why it's so confusing. It's, it was all so uncertain until really, you know, when I was able to get a visa appointment, when my visa was going to be, you know, I got my visa, but then when I actually had to get it in my hand, which was on Tuesday, today is Thursday, and I fly out on Saturday. So that's what's happening right now. Um, I thought I would vlog the, la the next couple of days. Um, I don't know when I will stop this vlog, probably. I'll do a separate travel vlog, maybe. Um, but basically, I haven't packed which is not great on my part. I'm usually pretty good, you know, at prepping and packing and whatnot. Um, but it's just happened so quickly and it's like I didn't want to count my chickens before they'd hatched, you know? So now I, I'm just not packing for, like, I have no good reason. Today I have a couple things on the agenda. So um, I just sent an email to, I actually didn't say I'm doing another UN internship. Um, yeah, there's a whole long story to do with this and, you know, I'm not going to get into it. I've kind of decided that I'm not going to get into it this time around, um, for a while at least. So, basically, I'm going to be interning at UNHQ. Again, it is an in-person internship, which the other internship, one of the other internships I almost took was um, not at HQ. It was at another UN agency. The office was based in New York, so I was going to be doing it remote, working New York hours here, which was fine. I was actually very excited for that opportunity as well. In person is just a whole lot cooler and honestly I've been, it's not, it has not been a good 18 months, like two years for me at all. Uh, well no, two years, no. It's been a bad year, about a calendar year from now. So now we're hitting the road. So I'm doing another UN internship. I'm just emailing about my start date and um, grounds pass and whatnot. So I've done that. And I also answered a survey about pedestrianizing the town I currently live in. And um, okay, so I just ran out of storage, but I just fixed it. Um, on the agenda today, I am going to go to the post office. I have to send something for my dad. And then I want to get a sticker for the outside of my laptop. Um, that's like it says like where i live now like where i'm from or something like that there's a shop in town in my town that sells them and it's kind of a joke that i always get that stuff but um yeah i pulled off one or two stickers uh from my laptop and there's like weird spots that i need to cover now so i'm gonna do that in town it is just pouring rain right now and i also need to um um, so I'm gonna drive in, but I also need to pick up my prescription for it's like a weird old walking stick right there. Um, my prescription for the next three months. I already called it in, so I'm gonna go pick that up, and then I am gonna come home and eat, and then I have a PCR test. Love getting my brain swabbed um, at 3:15 over at our local airport, which is not where I'm flying out of, but I can get it done there. Um, because I have to have a negative PCR test to go into the US, even though I'm fully vaccinated. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, expensive. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go do that, and then I, I'm gonna get myself a bullshit drink at Starbucks. That's the plan for today. I'm also gonna try and pack a little bit, 
Um, and then tomorrow, I don't have any specific plans. I should get my PCR test results in 24 hours. So I'll get that by tomorrow night. And my best friend who usually lives in London is actually just happens to be over for the weekend. So I will get to see her before I go, which is nice. Um, I will be coming home for Christmas, but it is still nice to see her. Um, and her whole family, like we're really close. So um, I'll see them on Friday. And then Saturday morning is when we leave here. So <laughs> damn, I really do need to pack. Uh, yeah, I should really get on that. So I'll probably do a lot of packing tomorrow, but I will start today. I have started a little bit like organizing stuff, but. I'm gonna go to town, I'll bring you with me, and go to the pharmacy, and then I will regroup here before I go and get the inside of my face swabbed. Love that. Finally in town, finally parked. Uh, there's absolutely biblical rain today. Like I knew it was raining heavily, but it, it's something else, and town is absolutely mobbed. So, um, I had to go to like an indoor car park, which is more expensive, but I need to get these things done. Um, and I'm actually so hungry, I feel sick. So I need to get these done really quickly and go to the pharmacy really quickly um, and hope that I don't get too soaked because I obviously did straighten my hair. Thankfully, this trench coat has a hood, which is nice. But um, yeah, that took me so much longer than I thought. I've been driving around for like 25 minutes, so. Let's get these jobs done. So I'm just gonna try and mount this. Things got a little crazy <laughs> for a second. So basically what happened was I was eating my lunch. The lighting is terrible here. There you go. So I was eating my lunch and well, I was just done eating my lunch. And then I hear the dog throw up and I'm like, oh no, dogs throwing up you'll see all the yellow signs because i just got covid tested it was so fine that pcr test was so fine uh usually or the one i had pre i had one really bad one previously um the dog got sick that's what i'm trying to say so suddenly the dog threw up and then she like couldn't breathe so we had to call the vet and bring her to the vet her tongue was blue which is what was spooking me um i cannot see any of the road markings because it's so bright because it rained so much earlier um it's all like the rain is reflecting off the or the water on the road is reflecting the sun uh but yeah so i drove over and then i like took two cars to the vet the dog is fine she got some like injections of antibiotics and things like that she as i i didn't say before she's 15. i'll insert clips over here she's adorable um she looks kind of like a house gremlin right now because of her haircut but she's overall doing fine and uh yeah, so that was not ideal, um, and it's all good now. So we took two cars and I went straight here. I just had my test done. I got here early, but it was like empty, so I don't think they had any other appointments. Uh, it was so fine. It was much better than like the ones I'd had before. Uh, and I'm gonna go get a bullshit drink at Starbucks now. And then I guess I'm gonna start packing. Uh, I don't have anything else officially to do today. I got an email back from the office that I'm going to be interning in and they said to expect to start on Wednesday, which is good. Gives me a couple of days. Um, and yeah, that's what's happening right now. Um, I was just in such a rush and then I was kept trying to film a clip like on my way over but I didn't want to like do it when driving and then they don't let you film at any of the testing centers I think it's like a medical thing so back with my sweetie girl mm, you feeling okay I'm gonna put on her dinner and we're run upstairs start packing packing progress it's <laughs> like not really any progress i already had this and then i took out the big suitcase so that's that's all i've done uh because i was just feeling lazy i ate my dinner and i'm gonna run to dunn's like big department store i'm so out of breath <laughs> and um get some tights and socks like random stuff like that because I, I don't know if any of, that's my mask. I don't know if any of the ones I have now, they might have holes in them, whatever, I haven't worn them in a while. So 
just want to get some new ones because also the elastic might be dead um because just pandemic things I haven't been wearing them very much so i'm gonna run and do that and then when i get back we're gonna do some packing for real that was very quick and easy because it was so empty so i got the goods i got some black tights some socks some like sheer tights just i don't know what i'll need and last time i was there i kind of found it hard to get basics like that um cheap so got those so now i can find my keys and um head home and actually start to pack finally i really i literally were coming up on like 24 hours for before me leaving there's nothing in a suitcase why am i like this we are back with multiple pairs of tights and little socks in tow um i also got my covid test results back already which is so weird because i only got the 24 hour result not the 12 because the 12 is like double the price mm -mm. but it's been a couple of hours needless to say i don't have covid <laughs> thankfully um but it's good to know and i need to start putting more stuff on the bed i have like some workout clothes um i need to get some more like pajama t-shirts a pair of pajama shorts and then some maybe like casual kind of tops although like a lot of my work stuff is like goes it's the same stuff so i'm just gonna go through my wardrobe and see if there's anything that i really want to bring and i just need to bring stuff in here and then i guess tomorrow i'll put it into the suitcase I don't know. I think my mom's gonna come up and help me because I really need to get moving on this. <laughs> so I'm wearing a different top now. I just remembered um, I actually made it. It's pretty cute, but I'm not bringing it. Um, I tried it on and then wasn't bothered to take it off because I didn't mention I pulled out my back last week um, and it's still like, also I popped this, <laughs> but my back is still really bothering me. It was fine yesterday. It was totally fine this morning. And then it just it's coming back at me so um i have a lot of things organized at this point but a question what's a normal amount of underwear to pack i just don't know um and then i'm gonna put my jeans my room is such a mess um i'm gonna put my jeans that i'm currently wearing uh, in for a little quick wash with a bunch of masks because i realized i was hoarding masks to wash and then like reusable masks because I prefer those and then I forgot to wash them so I'm gonna do that now because it's like after 9 p.m so I kind of just want to watch some tv with my family but I picked out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and traveling so tomorrow you'll be seeing it tomorrow I'm wearing one of my favorites this top from Cezanne and then I'm wearing a green sweater that I'm going to wear like for work and stuff traveling so that's where we're at um this is probably unless i insert some clips i'll insert them over here of what i'm doing packing the bag i was going to use the wheel is broken but um i had found a different bag and i'm yeah i'll insert clips of me talking of all the stuff i'm packing and um i'll go more into my strategy tomorrow but that's it for tonight and i guess i'll see you in the morning good morning um i am just about to do my makeup because i am going out for lunch today so i'm gonna find some makeup and um oh yeah i didn't update that from yesterday so my friend's actually back earlier in the day than i thought she was gonna be so um we're gonna go she's gonna come here before lunch and then we're gonna go into town for lunch to one of our favorite places which is nice i think her little sister is going to come with and um i haven't put anything in an actual suitcase yet so i'm going to do that in a minute i'm just going to do my makeup first um and then yeah i'm at this weird point where i'm kind of like do i start i put the stuff in the suitcase now yeah um i feel like i'm forgetting so much stuff but then i have to remind myself i'm not going to the arctic i'm going to a city it's not going to be an emergency if i forget something it's like non-essential you know what i mean so i do need to get like my tech 
organized um, because that's not the stuff you want to try and replace. So I'll probably do that this morning as well when I'm not like panicking like later tonight. And um, yeah, it, it kind of doesn't feel real. I think that's what's happening. But it's happening. So I think my friend is coming over soon. Uh, I think she's gonna try and light a fire under my ass. So I start packing a bit more intentionally, I guess. But I did actually do some stuff that I need to do, like get um, a lot of my tech organized and then um, the my planner, which is all this stuff that's right here. That's why I'm on my bed. Um, get this kind of prepped because it's like a creative journal kind of thing. So get that prepped and get a couple pens and that sort of stuff um, all organized and tidied up. And then I just replaced some of the stickers on my laptop, which is here as well. Um, so that sort of thing is all good to go now. I guess I'll actually start putting things into the bag um, and figure out what's going in which bag, which I actually have planned out in this planner right here. But um, I have some fabric masks that I washed last night that are drying and my jeans and they can go in last and I have a particular bag it's actually a pouch I needle pointed um that they'll go into so I need to figure out what tech is going in which bag and um it's so annoying because you like need it up until the last minute and then also the place that I'm staying they're like oh you might need your phone like you're gonna need your phone to access the building so I have to like extra make sure that my phone is good to go um but I'll of course have my charger with me in my backpack I need to prep the backpack as well there's just a lot of things to do so I guess I will start putting stuff into the bag and start like stuffing shoes with socks and that kind of thing you know Maybe I just need some caffeine or something. Okay, so I'm back on the packing. I hope that very annoying noise isn't annoying you too much. Um, but we have a very leaky roof and they're finally able to fix it today. So we're just taking it because, you know, we can't have water streaming into the house the whole time. And I forgot to film at lunch with Rebecca and when she was over here because we, well, I only saw her like two weeks ago and like, Probably my last video actually I posted. Yeah, so that was my London vlog. Um, I'll link it here. But um, she is going back to London on Sunday, I think. Um, Sunday or Monday. And she's obviously not usually here. So it was fun to hang out and we had lunch. And we had a big lunch. And then I was over at her family's house. I'll insert pictures of her cat looking so cute. Um, but now my new bag um i'm gonna keep packing i'll probably do like a little time lapse or something sorry i forgot to bring you to lunch but i had some delicious pasta that's that's all there is to know um i still have jumpers in the bed um i think that's all i have on the bed and then bras <laughs> that's all oh and tights that's what i have on the bed i have some workout clothes here and some bags and then shoes that's it, which is pretty good. Then I have like all my tech stuff, but that's very much in the carry-on and um, backpack, etc. Also toiletries, that's always a stressful thing, but um, we'll get there when we get there. But for now, I'm just gonna try and get everything into a bag. And we can sort it out from there. So not so fun development since the last time I checked in, which I think was just a awkward little sped up clip of me packing. I, I don't know if you'll notice it in that clip. I pulled my bag out again. I pulled it out like last week um, and it hurt so bad and it was getting much better, but it was like, I did it sewing. I was like kneeling down and leaning over and pinning things is how I did it originally. And then leaning over and putting things in bags is how I did it again. So my lower back is in bits. I'm waiting for the painkillers to kick in. And I have like a heat pack on my back. But it is not a time where I can just stop. Um, so my mom is going to help me. I'm just going to kind of tell her what's going to go where. 
So, um, yeah, not ideal, but I've just got to keep trucking on, I guess. It's like 1 a.m., 1.30 maybe, um, and I'm just remembering I need to wrap up this vlog. Obviously, my hair has been restored to factory settings, um, because I had a shower, but yeah, I really wasn't able to film any more of the packing process. It was really just a case of, like, putting stuff in a bag. Like, it was not that intense, um, but I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, but I mean, again, I'm not going to the Arctic, I'm going to a city, they have stuff there, <laughs> um, and my back is like not good, so I have prep, I have like, um, ibuprofen and like a heat pack sticker thing for the plane tomorrow, um, my mom had to pack my bag, like I had to sit there and be like, can you put that in over there and put that in there, like, was not a good time so um i just realized i needed to wrap this up and i thought you i'm gonna be able to take my little broadway, my little broadway dance center membership tag get to take it off the board and that just like i guess that's like i haven't had anything that's made me go like okay i'm going but that kind of is i probably won't go for quite a while because my fitness is like on the floor and my back obviously i don't know how long this is gonna take to heal um but i'm gonna take that off the board now and um that's really exciting yeah i guess that is it for this vlog i'm just rambling now um i'm gonna start a new one in the morning i think um for traveling and you know maybe the first couple of days and um, probably just a travel vlog and then another vlog for the next couple of days i might also be filming a couple like tiktoks and reels and stuff on my journey so follow me on instagram at anime by design it's also linked down below and tiktok is the same and i will see you in my next video when i make my way to new york <laughs>